Meanwhile, moving on to news from Pakistan, the Islamabad High Court on Monday reiterated its earlier order asking opposition party Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf to hold its protest near parade ground. The party, led by Imran Khan, has been planning to siege capital Islamabad in protest against alleged corruption by the government. The order by the Islamabad High Court allowed the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf or the PTI party to hold its sit and protest only near the parade ground and stated that the party cannot take the protest out to the streets. The court also ordered PTI chairman Imran Khan to appear in court during hearing of petitions against the party's planned protest. The High Court ruling came after Khan asked the Supreme Court to take Suomoto notice of arrests of his party's workers. In a show of strength, Khan has announced to launch a mass protest in Islamabad on November 2nd against the alleged massive corruption by the federal government. When you have people coming into power and looting the country, they actually weaken the demo democratic system because people lose faith in democracy. Because people in the end, then when the army comes in, they welcome them with sweets. In 99, when Nawaz Sharif, when General Musharraf walked in, you know, the shops ran out of sweets in, in Lahore. People were celebrating. Why? Because he was corrupt. There were cases of his corruption. He was undemocratic. Cricketer-turned-politician Khan has vowed to bring millions of people from across the country to Islamabad on November 2nd for a planned lockdown of the capital. In response, forces in Islamabad have tightened up security and placed containers on important junctions to deter those marching to Islamabad.